good morning everybody how are you today uh, i hope you're all well i hope ramadan is going well for you also it's a tough time um today we're going to look at basic greetings we're just following it from our last week so different types of greetings so for example uh, hello david well we could say hello wafa hello Aleen, hello Muhammad, hello Mona. We can also say, hi David, hi Mona, hi Walid, hi Wafa, hi Ali, hi Amin. So hi, we can use hi and hello, either or, we can use both when we greet people. In the morning time, we would say good morning, very formal. Good morning, or oh, morning. If I meet you, I might just say morning, but good morning. In the afternoon, good afternoon, or afternoon, good afternoon. Evening time, which is generally after six o'clock, we say good evening, evening, good evening, good evening, nice to see you. And then we have good to see you again so it's a warm greeting good to see you again hopefully when we see you again in Mosley we'll say we will be to hug you but um, we say great to see you again good to see you again and then we have nice to see you again again slightly different meaning nice to see you uh, I'm glad to see you I'm happy to see you I'm pleased to see you. So there are just some of the ways when we meet somebody, the different terms we use. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again. Great to see you again. I'm glad to see you again. I'm happy to see you again. I'm pleased to see you again. Okay, so again, and to, oh, how we say it? I'm pleased to see you again. I'm pleased to see you again. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. So different tone being used when we greet someone. So what do we say when we're greeting someone? So greeting someone and answering them back. So when we meet somebody or someone says to you, to you how are you? You can say, fine, thanks, and you. Or you can say, fine, thanks, and you? So again, different tone, different meaning. How are you? So how are you in Mosley? I hope you're very well. How have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. So how have you been? So this one here. How have you been? How have you been? Very well. And you? Very well. And you? So how have you been? Very well, and you. How are things? How are things in Mosni? How are things going with Ramadan? How are things back home in Syria? How are things? Not too bad, thank you. Thanks. Not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. You could say, not great great good so but not too bad thanks how is your girlfriend she's fine how is mona she's fine how is muhammad he's fine he's fine but this is for girlfriend how is your boyfriend he's fine She's fine. How is your girl? So, formal greetings. Formal, friendly greetings. If I meet you, it's very friendly. But what's a formal greeting? Formal greetings. Like what are they? So, good morning. Good morning. Hello, so that will be the spot response. So, 
what is a formal greeting? Just make the difference here so we understand in Arabic. Let's show my phone. So that's a formal greeting. So maybe the guardi or the, the mullah or a teacher or whoever, you would greet them formally. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening is the response. So if someone says to me, John, good evening, and it's maybe the guardi or somebody in a, in a Position. I would say good evening back then hello how are you I'm fine thank you very well thank you so I'm fine thank you oh, very well thank you so different types of responses okay and then the next page. so introducing yourself when you meet somebody introducing yourself or introducing somebody else which is always very important when we're meeting people and we don't know the other person. So, can I introduce myself? So, if I meet somebody, um, my name is Sarah. Or my name's Sarah. My name's Sarah. So, again, we have the apostrophe S here to shorten from the IS. Can I introduce myself? May I introduce myself? And again, we look at the question marks here. Look at the question. My name's Simon. My name's Muhammad. My name's Ibrahim. My name's Mona. So my name's, my name's John. So my name's. So this is a man. This is a lady. Let me introduce myself. My name's Paul. Let me introduce myself. My name's Paul. So again, introduce myself. Can I, may I, let me. So here, I'd like to introduce myself. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm David, I'm Mona, I'm Walid, I'm Mo Muhammad, I'm Ibrahim, I'm Wafa. Uh, I don't think we've met, I'm Jason. I don't think we've met, I'm Jason. These will be used in different situations. Different situations which we'll learn later on when we get back to class, hopefully. Introducing somebody else. Introducing somebody else. May I introduce myself? So, may I introduce myself? A question mark. I introduce a good friend of mine. This is Simon. Have you met Simon? So, may I introduce myself? I introduce a good friend of mine. This is Simon. Have you met Simon? So, I use the word, translate the word introduce. May I introduce myself? Second here. Okay, introduce. What is that word introduce? Let's, let's isolate that word. Introduce. It's a big English word, isn't it? Again, what is it? Yes, yeah, so introduce. This is Simon. Have you met Simon? And a question mark. Have you met Simon? Can I introduce myself? I introduce a good friend of mine. This is Rod. Have you met Rod? Have you met Rod? Have you met Rod? The answer there may be no, I've never met Rod. Oh yes, I know Rod well. So again, different answers to the question. Oh here, I'd like you to meet John. I'd like you to meet Mona. I'd like you to meet Philip. I'd like you to meet Walid. I'd like you to meet 
uh, Salsan. I want you to meet Ronaldo. I want you to meet Ronaldo. If we would be so lucky to meet Ronaldo. Okay. I want you to meet Ronaldo. I'm going to move on quickly. All right. Making contact with someone you don't know. Excuse me. Are you Mrs. Smith? Yes, that's right. So, if I don't know you, so, excuse me, are you Ibrahim? Yes, that's right. Hello, you must be Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Remember, Mrs. Jones, woman. This is a woman, okay, a lady. Hello, you must be Mrs. Jones. And you say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. You are Mr. Bean, aren't you? Mr. Bean. Oh. Let me say who Mr. Bean is in a second. Have we met before? Have we met before? Okay. Time is rushing. We want to do this. So who is Mr. Bean? You see who Mr. Bean is. This is Mr. Bean here. He's on TV. So, exercise. So what I'd like you to do here is to write this, these down. Okay, we will go through them very quickly if we run out of time. Copy and write a conversation below onto a piece of paper using nine words, these words here, and fill in the blanks. Get soon, Mr. Bean, we miss you. So which of these do you think should go here. We'll get soon. So I think get well soon is the answer to the first one. Get well soon, Mr. Bean. We miss you. Then we have number two. Mr. Bean, how are you today? So is it year? Christmas? Congratulations? Good evening. Look, good morning. Hello. Okay. Number three. Good. What? What? With your driving test tomorrow. So he's doing a driving test tomorrow. So what would you say to someone who's doing a test tomorrow? And then we have on your fine win, Mr. Bean. Year, Christmas, congratulations. Now that's a big word. That's a big word, isn't it? Congratulations. Congratulations. What's that in Arabic? Tahania. Tahania. Okay. On your fine wind, Mr. Bean. <coughs> Corona cough there. Mary. Congratulations, morning, Easter. Well, we wouldn't say Merry Easter, but we might say Merry Christmas. Wouldn't we? And here we have Happy. Now we might say Happy Easter, Mr. Bean. Do not eat much chocolate. So people eat chocolate at Easter time. Here we have something, Mr. Bean. What is it? Is it hello? So, if you can fill those in, great. And the last one, Mr. Bean, it was nice to see you. It was nice to see you. So again, you can fill those in. Folks, if you have any questions, please email me or text me uh, and I'll get back to you, okay? Have a, a great week, stay safe and hope uh, Ramadan is not too tough on you, okay? Goodbye.